Hey there everybody, Gideon's Tactical here doing uh, another knife review for you. This review is of the Buck Vantage Avid. Um, this is a little bit different than the um, Buck Vantage, the Vantage Pro or the Vantage Force. Um, this knife is a little bit different um, in both design and just overall feel. So um, let's take a look at it here. Um, you know, nice size. Uh, I mean, this is definitely a, a heftier knife. Um, to be sure for EDC use, but it's definitely in the EDC category. And as, if you can see here, it's just got a really nice, almost wood looking uh, handle. Uh, and I love that. It just is very aesthetically uh, pleasing to the eye. Um, you know, when you look at it, this is def definitely uh, a gentleman's knife that can definitely take some hard use and a hard beating. So um, you got a 3.25 uh, inch um, blade, so all, right in between the three and three and a half inch blade size, which I think is perfect for EDC use, but also can be deployed in a tactical format as well. Um, so you got the 3.25 inch blade, um, and you have an overall length of 7.63 uh, for the overall length of the knife, uh, and then uh, you have a closed length of 4.38 right there. Um, and then uh, you have a weight of four ounces. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at this here. Um, one of the best parts about this, and if you've seen my other review of the Vantage Force, um, you know, these are both made in the U.S. And all the Vantage models are made in the U.S. Um, and uh, th that's the first really good selling point to me. I love to buy American whenever I can. Um, and this is pretty good, uh, you know, for the price. Uh, you know, you're going to get... For probably about forty-five-ish dollars around there, you're getting a knife that's made in America with 13C26 Sandvik steel, um, which is an upgrade over the normal 420 steel that most buck knives, pocket knives will use. This is an upgrade. Um, so the the Rockwell hardness is harder. Um, it's a stronger steel overall, so it will hold its edge for a longer period of time. Uh, it comes in plain edge form. Uh, very sharp out of the box, very strong tip. This is very thick, strong spine, nice and flat. Reminds me a lot of like a, a Rat 1 Model 1 um, or like a Utilitac, which are a really beefy knives. This blade is nice and thick, but also razor sharp. It's going to hold an edge for a very long time with that uh, Sandvik steel. Um, the ergonomics of the blade itself, really nice, kind of like a modified drop tip uh you know nice and straight but really nice belly and a good piercer so just overall very good for cutting or piercing tasks if you need to do that um for deployment uh it's a little stiff here in the locking mechanism now there is like a hex head in there that you can loosen or tighten it a little bit it's a little stiff uh you know probably with some lube it'd lube up a little bit the flipper definitely something to be desired now on the on the buck vantage force there's a little bit they're about the same size as you can see but the force has some grooving and gripping there that makes it a little bit easier to deploy. This one is kind of, again, kind of more sleek and slim and attractive. There's no grip, no, no jimping there on the, on the flipper. And it's very difficult to um, hit it. You know, you're, you miss it a lot of the time. It kind of slips and you kind of don't deploy it very well. I found that the hole for this particular model is actually um, a better deployment for uh, this particular knife. I like to use the hole. Um, just a little bit more um, and even then again you can see how stiff this is I'm definitely gonna have to put some lube in it um, you know out of the box you definitely have to get a good wrist flick and you really can't do it without that with that fun thumb flipper you got to do it with the, the finger hole so um, that's the the blade itself but that's fine the th finger hole works great you can dig in there really nice it, it's got kind of a, a rough edge so you won't slip out or anything but this is definitely more of a fi uh, finger hole deployment than I feel a back I mean, you can do it. It's just not as comfortable as doing it with the finger hole, in my opinion. So um, that's the blade itself. Very impressed with the blade. Um, lockup. Let's look at the lockup here. This is an extremely strong liner lock. I'm very impressed with this. Um, again, this is kind of like the American classier version of like a Rat 3, in my opinion. I mean, sorry, uh, uh, Ontario Rat um, 1. Uh, you know, it's classier and it's made in America, but uh, I mean, this lockup is so strong, no wiggle side to side, you know, or any, I mean, nothing, zero movement in that lockup. Uh, and then the, the mechanism can move to the side nice and easy and you close it. So lockup is great. Very strong lockup. Very, very impressed with that. Uh, as you can see, the skeletonized handles, four ounces, not too bad. Um, you know, it's definitely on the heavier side, definitely on the thicker side. The handle is definitely thick, but full. I mean, I have large size gloves. And I got plenty of room to spare here. Um, on that the the handle 
itself is made out of charcoal diamond wood is what it says. So it's some weird, you know, like nylon infused glass, you know, Zytel type of material. Looks like wood. Um, and again, this is where the classiness comes in. See if I can kind of get the light on there a little bit. It definitely looks like it's wood and it's classy. Uh, the downside to that, you know, they tried to put some grooves in here, but it's very slick, very sl smooth, no texturing at all. Um, and that's kind of the ding that I have against this handle. It's very smooth. Um, now, for most EDC use, it's not going to be a big deal. But if you're taking this in the woods, you know, or this is your you're carrying this around on, uh, on the farm or on the job site or whatever, and you know you're you're sweating with your hands or whatever, or you drop it in some water, it's definitely going to be slick for a little while. Now, the ergonomics are very good, and it's not going to necessarily slip around. But I mean, it's just not gripped at all. Very smooth texturing. Um, so that's kind of a ding, but it's very beautiful in to the eye. And again, this is why I like I, it's kind of like a businessman. You know, take you got like. You have the Buck Force uh, Vantage Force for your, you know, at the job site and doing your, you know, your dirty work, and then you put this, you put this guy in your pocket when you go out to dinner with your wife, uh, you know, to a nice restaurant or something. You have this guy with you. So um, that's kind of my just a little opinion on that. Uh, pocket clip is awesome, um, and the smooth texture does help because it's not going to tear up your pants or your Dockers or dress pants or whatever. But very strong clip. I'm very impressed with that. Um, I like it. The loop isn't too far out, so it's not going to catch on stuff. And um, over, this is just very strong. Um, yeah, it's not the strongest, but it's very strong. I'm not worried about bending it or anything. Um, it has two little nuts there, and you can screw it for left or right. And this is totally ambidextrous um, deployment, as you can see. Totally ambidextrous, left or righties. Um, we'll be able to use this uh, no problem. So um, the differences between this knife... Uh, uh, and overall, I'm very impressed with it. I love it for the price point. Not bad at all. Right around the forty, forty-five dollar ish mark. Um, I mean, you're you're getting a really good, strong steel, American-made, classy-looking knife. Um, for so, those of you out there who are trying to want, you know figure out the differences, I'll just try and show you here really quick. This is the Vantage Force. This is the Vantage Avid that we've been reviewing. Um, and the Force, uh, you can get these in different upgraded steels. But you can see it, it definitely has kind of like a more tactical looking blade. This one has a very flat tip, uh, top. This one does, has kind of a curve in. Um, and uh, this kind of has like a, a tapered upper spine area right here. It's very, ta you know, it's tapered back in. This is just nice and flat. I kind of tend to go with this. I like this a little bit more. Um, this has no finger ramp or anything like that, but the ergonomics are really good in your hand. You know, it feels really nice. Um, this does have a little bit of finger ramp, a little bit of jimping. This has better texturing here. This doesn't have any texturing. Um, I would say this has a little bit of better liner lock though, and um, but that's about it. Other than that, you're getting basically the same knife. Um, this just looks a little bit more tactical, um, and the finger flipper works a little bit better. That's about it. Um, so again, what we've been looking at is the Buck Vantage Avid with the upgraded Sandvik 13C26 steel. Highly recommended by Gideon's Tactical, an awesome dress business knife that if you're looking for kind of a bigger EDC blade. So hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.